Welcome back to live continuing coverage of the South Carolina Agribiz and Farm Expo. I'm Donna London, and we're back here, and today we're with Dr. Um, excuse me, I cannot, you know, and I, I, you have to know, I haven't seen her in 30 years, and we, you, you see anybody here, it's amazing. Um, but we have Dr. Gloria Bromwell Tanubu, and she's an agricultural ec economic, or ec economist, excuse yes. me, and um, and also a farmer. And the one thing that that doesn't have anything to do with any of this, <laughs> but you are one of the few people I know, or you're the only person I know that was that was born in Brook Green Gardens <laughs> around yes, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Yes, indeed. Now, um, how was that possible? Well, my father was one of the farmers and caretakers there. Uh, he joined. Um, Brookgreen Gardens in 1943, okay. and I was born in 1953 there, and four of my other siblings were born there as well. Uh, we had a house in the garden. In fact, the house where I was born is still standing, and it's on the National Register of Historic Places. And yeah, we 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 the Huntingtons provided um, housing for some of the families right right in inside of the garden who cared for the animals, did the feeding, grew, grew um, some of the crops, it, yes. That, so that sounds there. ideal. It's amazing. <laughs> How wonderful. Yes, and yes, so indeed. And so your, your siblings and you are the only people that were ever born, as far as we know. Well, I, I don't know. Now, okay. there may be, there were, there were also another family called the Greens. Um, uh -huh. There were two houses that were almost like twin houses, and I don't know if they had children that were born there or not, but in fact, I know that five of us were born. Uh, in the gardens and uh, has it yeah, as, on you, our you birth got, certificate. There's a, that's a very special um, topic. Yes, I'm indeed. Sure. Yes, it sounds indeed. Sounds like something that might be good for a book, but I know <laughs> that, that you probably don't have time for a book on that right now, given <laughs> what you're what you're doing yes, with indeed. the farming. Yes, indeed. Uh, when I was young, my father had a tobacco farm. So I, as a teenager, I grew up and worked in tobacco and I uh, would help my father plant tobacco and back in the, the, those days we handed tobacco so they, they could be tied on a, on, by a string on a stick and put into the barn for curing, uh, for processing and then once that was done we took them off of the sticks and then we tied them so my father could take them to market for sale. So I, and he also had, he, 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 he grew some of the best watermelons in the world. We oh, had, wonderful. you know, a few chickens. We have, a, we had a hog and a cow and, and he grew, you know, garden vegetables. Um, and so I grew up in a rural community and um, both of my parents have been uh, dead for more than 20 years mm -hmm. now. And I came back home in 2011 and our family home had been abandoned by a relative and I decided to, that it was time for me to come back home. And um, this past year, uh, I became involved with a project out of Charleston that is helping families that have heirs property, which is what my family has. I also have some property that is in my name that is clear uh, to help them bring those properties into producti productive use for income generation. And so um, heirs property was some, is what brought me to Clemson um, back in the 1970s. To, I actually did the first scientific study that was done on Ayers property and uh, under the tutelage of my beloved friend, Dr. James Height, Jim Height. Right. And, uh, and of course, that's uh, during the time when I met your husband. Yes, yes. It, <laughs> Jim, and, 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 Jim London. Right, right. Well, it, yeah, it is yeah. amazing. Yeah, and, it's amazing. And, and it's such a surprise to see you here yeah, because I'm used to seeing you in, a, in an academic yes. setting. And yes. Yes. academic programs right. and things such exactly. as that. And today we're we're um, talking about everything agriculture, but yes. on the um, even though we are talking some from the academic yes. perspective and the yep. business perspective, we're also t so talking about on the grounds agriculture. Oh, yeah, yeah. And and that's something you have an interest in. Yes, indeed. I mean this. It's, it's what has motivated me all my life, and to it's like coming full circle. You know, I started uh -huh. on a farm, um, and I, uh, you know, full circle. I'm coming back, and it, it's probably one of the most rewarding undertakings that I have done, I think, in, in a long time. So I'm looking to do some 
South Carolina grown, South Carolina certified farming and farm to table and some organic um, you know, over time because that's a pretty expensive process. Sure. Um, and there's a, there's a lot of um, trees on our property, so I'm going to do some uh, what they call agroforestry as well, um, where I'm going to be mixing, you know, the, the the planting with the, you know, the trees and all that. And then I want to do some agritourism as well, and then sort of demonstrate for my community and, and rural communities like it that you can you can use that asset and, and, in a productive way that would generate income and, mm -hmm. and wealth for the community and also engage younger people in, in agriculture. I'm excited about getting them excited and mo motivated by farming. Well, it's definitely an exciting time to be yeah. in agriculture yes. and uh, to have to have you here and to see someone that goes through this, yeah. this full circle. I yeah. want to thank you. Thank you. I've been speaking with Dr. Gloria Bromel Tanubu and she is she is a farmer <laughs> in Georgetown, South Carolina. And actually I think a new farmer. A new <laughs> farmer. An emerging farmer. Uh, yes, an emerging farmer. Um, in in Georgetown. Georgetown. And, do I have it correct? Is uh, is there another name for the area? It, the area that I live in is Plantersville. Plantersville. And just just I wanted just to say it's on the farm that my great grandfather purchased in 1883. Wow! So it's it's about five, six generations. And and you'll meet people <laughs> like Gloria Bromel Tanubu here at the Ag Expo, the Agribiz Expo, in uh, Florence, South Carolina. And I want you to continue to join us for our live continuing coverage of the South Carolina Agribiz and Farm Expo. For the Jim Self Center in the Future, I'm Donna London.